Kia ora. My name is Karen Bathgate and today I am going to talk to you about Arnie O'Neill, an artist of Pākehā, Irish and Cook Island, Ngāti Mākia and Ngāti Titika descent. In 2018, Christchurch Art Gallery, Tapuna Orwai Fetu, purchased a work by O'Neill which is set to become part of the upcoming rehang of our permanent collection. This rehang will be called Tafiki, Pathways Across Oceania, and explores how art can connect us with our place in Te Moana Nui Akiwa, the Pacific Ocean, through stories about migration and belonging. The exhibition includes both historical and contemporary works and examines how they can reflect a variety of history and values, a consideration which is apparent in the practice of Arnie O'Neill. O'Neill draws on her cultural experience of a life spent between Auckland and the Cook Islands to express an urban Pacific identity in her art. She is one of New Zealand's leading contemporary artists and some of you will remember her as the practitioner creating the crochet circles which form part of the art gallery's Yellow Moon He Marama Kofai exhibition from 2017 to 2018. Through her practice, O'Neill has always crossed this art craft binary. She is primarily an installation artist and object maker whose sculptural work reveals her practical familiarity with both the traditions of Cook Island weaving and the history of knitting techniques introduced to Rarotonga by the London Missionary Society during the early 19th century. Throughout her practice, O'Neill has used traditional Pacific making practices as tools for social commentary, embodying such issues as post-colonialism, the environment, identity politics, and consumerism. Author Stephanie Oberg writes that for many Pacifica people, art flexes in and out of their everyday life. O'Neill describes this as treating every step you take through this world as a walk through an artwork. She draws on her Pacific identity using her knowledge of traditional art forms such as knotting, braiding, plaiting and weaving in an art practice that spans a range of media. Her inspiration springs from Cook Island material and cultural traditions learnt primarily through her maternal grandmother. She translates these practices into the urban New Zealand landscape balancing a use of modern materials such as florist ribbon, recycled plastic bags or items from discount shops with more customary materials such as coconut leaf, shell and flax. O'Neill is cognizant of the value of channeling ancestral knowledge and through her practice she continues to pass this knowledge on by creating spaces for encounter in which to teach crafts to audience participants. By bringing her art to the viewer, O'Neill creates powerful connections through collaborative, collective and community experience opportunities. And by championing this continuation of customary art practices, O'Neill privileges their te aonga. As mentioned earlier, we are familiar with her project Crater Creator, which showed at the gallery as part of our Yellow Moon He Marama Kofai exhibition. Over the course of a year, O'Neill and a team of volunteer crocheters, together with willing visitors to the gallery, created a series of yellow moons. As craters were crocheted, each moon waxed and filled the wall space in an approach to art making where, by gallery goers participating in creating the artwork, they assisted in recasting a craft practice into a fine art space. The O'Neill work recently acquired by our gallery is titled Etu Iti. Etu Iti is from Cook Island Māori and translates as Little Stars. These stars were made in 2006 when O'Neill was invited to be part of Pacifica Styles, an exhibition at the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology in Cambridge, England. In much the same way as our yellow craters were crocheted in the gallery, these stars were made in workshops in Cambridge with the help of local school children, allowing them an opportunity to experience a drawing together of the traditional and the contemporary in art. In her nuanced way, 
O'Neill was also bearing witness to history, handing on instruction and craft to the English in an English institution, thereby reconstructing and appropriating the teachings of those early European missionaries to the islands who first taught her ancestors the, final point, the finer points of Western needlecraft. The work Etu Eti takes the form of a long string of stars made from feather and kiko or coconut midrib, bound with raffia and strung along wire. Other materials used include beads, sequins, videotape, nylon yarn and recycled plastic. Etu Eti can be installed in various ways, such as strung along a flat wall, suspended from the ceiling or hung diagonally across a room. Monumental in scale, the swathes of little stars that make up Etu Eti evoke the stars of Pacific skies, used as navigational aids by Pacific Island peoples as they cross the Pacific Ocean, while also referencing the voyaging across time experienced when people encounter museum or gallery collections. Etu Eti typifies O'Neill's ability to legitimise craft forms. She places objects into a gallery setting that were once considered women's domestic work, pieces that are a hybrid of traditional Pacific Island craft and contemporary urban street culture. Furthermore, Etu Eti encapsulates the cultural significance of passion and colour, which are so important in Cook Island art, whilst also actively playing with the notion of what signifies Pacific art. Curator Lara Strongman describes the strong poetic resonance between this work, Etu Eti, and the name that Kaitahu has bestowed on the art gallery, Tapuna or Waifetu, which translates as spring waters in which stars are reflected. O'Neill's work and the gallery name each speak to the role of the stars as navigational aids and markers of place in Māori and Pacific cultures. We are looking forward to the time when our art gallery can reopen and we can welcome you into the Te Whiki exhibition. Te Whiki will offer new ways of looking at and thinking about our world, one which will certainly have changed by the time we see you again. Kia ora.